<coughs> welcome, really. I mean, that's what I'm here to do, is just to welcome you, really. And um, uh, to be here in St. Finbar's is really special because it's an iconic, it's an iconic building. It's really a, a very important thread to the tapestry that, that's Cork. And um, uh, I find, like, I was here last Friday night for Handel's Messiah, and every time I come here, I learn something new about the city, and I was really delighted and uh, to, to realise, or to, be, to find out that night, that the first performance of Handel in an ecclesiastical setting was actually, you know, on this site, and that was, that was something that the city would probably need to embrace. And, um, and also here, like the whole connection to St. Finbar and uh, that Finbar connection to the River Lee, right out to where my family are from, in uh, and where Tyke's family are from, out by um, you know Itchgila, Gubambara. It's it's really very a very very important place, and um, it's so such a fitting place for for today. Um, the Actually, then another thing I must say about this is that always, I've often for years been bringing people here, based because particularly at the moment, it, the whole thing of uh, inclusivity and all that, uh, that uh, you know, the, that, uh, the, the, the grave here or the, the, the marker for the for um, Elizabeth Albert, um, I think that's a very special thing in the city. And um, when I bring people here, they, they usually they're, they're always very impressed by it. Um, You've just heard the choir, say the UCC choir, and it's I, I, it's part also part of, also with it is the um, the uh, Cross Avon choir. It's it's an amalgamation of two choirs, and what you've just heard is um, Mary's wedding, obviously, and uh, that's arranged by Bob uh, Chil Chilcott. Sorry, I'm, to, I'm reading this, and uh, I tell my ma uh, arranged by Colin Douglas, and um, I, th they were selected specially because. Our special guest today is, is from uh, Belfast, and I think those areas are very, um, I suppose, significant in that whole world. Um, the, the, the choir is under the baton, baton of um, Dr. Eva McMullen, and in our house she's known as uh, the Mighty McMullen because um, <laughs> she really is like, uh, she's been involved with obviously choirs, and the choirs have worked with community groups and um, like a whole range of like high profile uh, singers, everything from Ira Lenard to uh, um, Franklin Walters, John Spillane, uh, the, the, the late and much loved Carol Sullivan. And um, like when I think of uh, uh, Eva, I always think of like a music matador. It's like this kind of thing that she's uh, driving on. And, uh, and I think that's, that's her thing, that she, she has this capacity to sort of make things happen. Um, <laughs> I, I think at the moment, now that we come from, or we're coming from, uh, a winter of discontent, i.e. The, uh, the pandemic, um, that's what tonight, today is so special, that's one reason today is so special. It's also very special, particularly uh, for the choir, because what the pandemic did to all of us, it undermined what we humans do best, as in coming together as a group. And a choir is basically, it only functions as a group. And when you can't come together through that time of social isolation and all that, um, it's to, like, what keeps the choir going is the ability to meet. And when that was stopped, it, it's just such a testament to the work you've been doing over the years that the choir came together. And uh, I think because of that, the next song they're going to sing is, uh, it's become sort of an anthem, really, of, of, of the choir. Um, it's um, the song, it's a very popular song. It's um, it was the song made popular because it is by Elton John and it's called, and uh, very aptly called, I'm Still Standing. Mm. <laughs>
Um, our guest this evening is um, from Belfast, and um, I, 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 we Cork people, um, I suppose we're, we're always very proud of the fact that um, we're the second city, as we call it, and Summer Sold, I wrote a play, or a series of plays called The Second City Trilogy, and I was up in Belfast, but in fact the first time I went to Belfast, believe it or not, was 1969, where my mother wanted to go up for the 12th of July uh, to see her cousin Eddie march in the, uh, on, uh, for the 12th. And so we went up and uh, in a caravan, the whole family, and um, since then I've been there over the years a number of times. But uh, about 10 years ago I happened to mention, somebody said, so where are you from? And I said, I'm from the second city, because my play had just been out. And um, I got to have a look of second city, and then I suddenly realised that on the island of Ireland, Belfast, is the second city, and there was a bit of a rethink, and uh, and I think I found it very warm and endearing that uh, uh, just as an island without any sort of jurisdiction, that it was nice to be able to come. But it's something I'm always very aware of these days. And um, as I say, our special guest this evening is from Belfast, and um, I, I just like to give a very warm um, second city cock. <laughs> Good afternoon, Second City. I didn't know that story about Belfast being the Second City. We always thought we were the first one. In my mind, that's alright. What is the first one? Dublin. Dublin. And I live in Dublin too, you think I should know that? Okay. Good people of the parish of St. Finbars, will you sing after me, please? Everywhere I go. People always ask me. People always ask me. Will you sing Carrick for girls? <laughs> you twisted my arm. <laughs> I wish I was in Carrick for only four nights in Ballygrand. I would swim over the deepest ocean, the deepest ocean for my love to find. But the sea is Yeah. 
in the second city it is reported there are marble stones as black as ink with gold and silver I would support her but I'll sing no more now till I get a drink sure I am drunk today My days are numbered So come all ye young men And lay me down Let's hear you But the sea is mine And I cannot smoker Nor guide the wings to fly some bookman to ferry me over to my love and die to ferry me over to my love and die <laughs> well, Thank you, Dr. Eva. <laughs> yes, yes. Hey, um, we thought we'd do some Christmassy songs, of course, because it's that time of year. Um, I wanted to do a song uh, that I really love, and I don't sing it very often. I have an album called Christmassy. Did I tell you that before? <laughs> Which I will be signing at the back of the room at the end of the show. Um, this is a gorgeous song by a fellow called George Michael. Uh, we call him, of course, Shorsha Mihal <laughs> around here. Um, and we also have, because there's not much room up here because of the fabulous UCC choir, we have in a secret location a full orchestra and a pianist and a nail on piper. And only Rachel can talk to the maestro. <laughs> Rachel, would you ask them to turn their pages, please, to last Christmas? That'd be great. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you on with such a good voice, by the way. Every time we do this, it's a double chorus. Fair play to George Michael.
faithful friends who were dear to us will be near to us once more. Someday soon we all will be together if the fates of love. Until then, we'll have through somehow I'm so thrilled to be singing with UCC right now, this extraordinary choir. So Eva, Dr. Eva has been putting them through their paces, right? So I think it's time, Eva. I think we should do some songs together. Like, that was them just joining in with me. We didn't rehearse any of that. That's what you meant by it's time, didn't you? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so Dr. Eva, um, what, would you, what would you have us sing first, please? Is it Christmas morning? You tell us. You're in charge. Look, you're pretending to be all not bossy. I don't need, I don't need this now. You, you can have that back. I don't need this now. Oh, good crack, isn't it? Did I tell you I have a Christmas album? I did. Okay, Ava, we're all yours. So Christmas morning? Okay, Rachel, if you would, please. Thank you. Christmas morning, children playing in the church, bells ringing, I'm just staring at the decorations, there is nothing like Christmas morning. How did the
you just never know. There is nothing like a Christmas morning. Children playing in the church bells ring. I'm just staring at the decorations. There is nothing like Christmas. No, there is nothing like a Christmas morning. Children playing. Wow, so wonderful. I wrote that song with a fellow called Brendan Murphy, and we're determined to make it a classic. So I'm just going to keep coming back every year until you all know it. That's right. Uh, Dr. Eva, what would you have us sing now? Huh? Oh, yeah. So this is a song I recorded for a movie called When a Man Loves a Woman. Um, a Van Morrison song, of course, one of the greatest love songs, I think. Any, anybody in Loved Up? Any Loved Up people in? <laughs> I love the nervous laughter. Like, <laughs> this is called Crazy Love. Here we go. I love a bit of tension. It's all right. I can't be here. Her heart from a thousand miles But yeah, the heavens open every time she smiles And when I come to her, well that's where I belong Yeah, I'm running to her like her favorite song she give me love, 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 crazy love. You give me love, 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 crazy love. She's got a fine sense of humor when I'm feeling low down. Yeah, the comment to her is when the sun goes down.
Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I had very short hair at the beginning of the lockdown. Do you want to see it now? <laughs> this is this is two years. Check it out. I know it's all mine too. So um, I think this is one of the most positive songs I've ever been able to come up with and write with my producer Billy Farrell. Um, you know, it's, I love singing the sad ones. So the happy ones are great and everything, but I kind of love the sad ones. I really do. So this is me trying to kind of shake myself out of that. Um, Barack Obama, as you know, then president, came to Dublin at one point, and I think he said, I think he said, our best days have yet to come. So I thought he said that, and I wrote a song based on that thought. So here it is, it's called Best Days, and we wish you that for 2023, of course. So, Best Days, here we go. Thank you, Rachel. Our best days have yet to come, and our best race is yet to run. Hold on, because our best days have yet to come. What's the answer when the question just makes no sense at all But every problem has a solution You just have to make that call Cause our best days are yet to come And our best race is yet to run Everybody's got a future in the story It's it's only just begun Our best days are yet to come Turn your best face into the sun and hold on Cause the best days have yet to come But don't just stand there feeling helpless Because we've all been here before So put your money where you are so much for your company this afternoon. Thank you to, of course, St. Finbars for having us in this beautiful, 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 is it a cathedral? It is, isn't it? it certainly feels like one. Yeah, 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 gorgeous. So I, um, I sing this song in some very, oh, do you want to say something? Am I talking too much as usual? You want to say something? You do? No, don't be saying anything about me. I'm a Libra, don't be saying anything about me. I can't, I can't stand it. When is your birthday? The 1st of October. I'm the 12th of October. Do you know who I share my birthday with? Luciano Pavarotti. If I had been born on the 13th, it would have been Maggie Thatcher. Can you imagine? I share my birthday with my mother, believe it or not. Um, she tells me I was born on the 30th of September, but I insist it's the first, her birthday, but anyway. Um, just to say, uh, I, Brian, that, was, that was incredible. Absolutely incredible. And, um, um, Absolutely. Is there any still water over there? This isn't going out live or anything, 
is it? <laughs> so as a joke, go on. I'll say truth, I'm noble for jokes to tell you the truth, because truthfully, I intended to be here tonight in the audience, or this afternoon, and then Eva suggested I come and do this, so I was sort of caught by surprise, and um, so I'm delighted to be here, but the problem was that the music just carried it away, and I forgot that I had a job to do, and um, <laughs> that's why this... So anyway, my job is very simple, really. At this point, it's to basically thank everybody who's been here uh, today. And uh, I have a few names here I must just mention. Uh, that was really quite incredible, right? It really was just superb. Yeah, um, was. And uh, <laughs> I think... Uh, forget because when someone's got a great voice they just assume it's a singer you know and um, so the, the, the song really is incredible and you know you're, you're a, and then of course your interpretation of other songs is, is superb um, uh, and, and and also on top of that which is I, I, I suppose I should say is because uh, Brian's personality precedes him and that uh, he has sort of paved a way internationally as an ambassador without carrying a flag or whatever it just as a guy who represents I suppose this country or us, whatever, uh, in a very positive way, and um, that's much appreciated. Thank Thank you. You. Thank you. I, I just have to say thank you, read a few people, really, and uh, Peter Stobart, who uh, made us feel so welcome here this evening, and um, you know the place is just gorgeous and it's lovely to see, you know, full house. Um, Paul O'Donnell and uh, Kenny Boyle, uh, they're of Fulham, who put this whole series together. Uh, you know, the pandemic certainly caused, you know, that whole thing, particularly of fires and with, of people coming together, it, it sort of challenged that, and so it's great to see it coming back again and, and great to see people here and out and enjoying themselves. Um, of course, the musicians here today, I almost forgot. Yeah. There's, a, there's a traditional section, and that, that, that's basically uh, Paul Clasham on, on Constantina, um, Carol Nesbitt on Baron, Francis Curran, and Katrina uh, on flute, and I think it's banjo, because I, I don't have your real guitar, I missed that. Uh, banjo, is it? Yeah. And, um, and then the musicians, of course, right? Yeah, we have uh, Don, Corbett, uh, Dan Corbett on sax, uh, Catherine Hayes, trumpet, Keno Sullivan is on drums, and um, um, of course the accomplished uh, Angela Chu, Chu, how are you? Um, uh, special thanks uh, to, um, oh yeah, uh, Stephen Headley, who managed the choir, because that's that's keeps the whole show on the road. Uh, <laughs> um, and I suppose finally, we need Ty Kelleher and uh, Mick Daly, uh, the sound people, and two sound men I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so that's basically it. I think it's going to finish with one last uh, rousing that I will uh, let you raise Could up. You tell the them I'm signing my album at the end. <laughs> I will, indeed, because I'm going to form a queue there very quickly. I'll just follow me, because I'm going down to the get it. Uh, but in fact, I have someone down there queuing already. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so, you know, there's a Christmas album to be bought in a minute, so we'll see you then. But right now, rise up. And swap your seats. Thank you so much. What a lovely man you are. Thank you very much. So lovely. We have one more song for you. Um, I was asked to sing this song by a group called Secret Garden about 20 years ago. Bear in mind this song is only a new song. It's written in this century. So it's worth bearing in mind, and I think it's a kind of a love letter to Danny Boy in, in a little way. That's what the composer, Ralph Loveland, the music composer, was telling me. The lyrics are written by Brendan Graham, who's from County Mayo, and we want to sing it for you now. This is called You Raise Me Up. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> I could keep going, but um, we, you know we, we spent so much money on the orchestra that we should have them. Sorry, this is good. This is good crack. This is live. This is what happens live. Poor old Rachel, she's mortified now. <laughs> when I 
I am down And oh my soul So here I am Troubles come My heart burden be Then I am Still And wait here In the silence Until you call And sit a while With me Shoulders, you raise me up to more than I can be. Here come the pipes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, St. Finbars in Cork. Thank you, Ava, Dr. Ava, Thank you, UCC.